Hello! Today I'm going to be unboxing the Dormice family! So I got this family for Christmas. I already have two of the babies. I'm not sure if it's the same one or I don't think I know one of their names. But one of them comes with a little boat. I think it was a carry case baby. And the other one is wearing nursery uniform. But now I finally have the whole family. So I'm really happy, they're so cute. And if you're wondering how I've got this family as it's like the old like Flair family. The Sylvanian shop in London does still have some of the older families like the Dormice and they also got the um, sea otters for Christmas as well. So it's definitely a good place to look if you're looking for some of the older discontinued sets because they have quite a few things that are exclusive to them. So yeah, I'm so excited to open them. I'll quickly show you the packaging as it's quite interesting as it's in the old flare packaging and also even the background is just green so this must have been before they had like the pictures in the background it's just a plain green box so on the top of the box there's pictures of some of the families I just really love the flowers and like the grass at the bottom and the best thing about the old packaging is it says their names and a bit about them on the bottom. That's definitely the best part because you don't have to look up their names that you've already got them on the box. And on the back, I've got a picture of a tree with some of the families as well. So now let's open them. It says this set, uh, the year on it is 2009. So it's quite a long time ago. I started collecting in 2007, Christmas 2007, so that's 14 years ago now. So we've got a catalogue. Got lots of old sets and families on here. so much smaller as well when you think of how big like the little catalogues are now when you like unfold it like they're folded up quite small probably like that big when they're folded up and then you just open it all up and it's like really big once you've unfolded it all so this is actually quite small and we've also got the collectors club membership and it shows you could get either the wedding couple or the cocktail grandparents. I think this is probably how I got both of those sets. Probably was with the um, Collectors Club. This is it's from 2008 at the top. Wow. It shows what you get. A bit like all the, you get the four magazines. But I think they've, I don't know if they've just fully stopped doing it now or they're just waiting. Like last year, like we emailed them saying like, are you going to do the um, fan club again, like with the magazines and all that, and they said like soon, I think we asked them like a couple of times, and they just said like it would be soon every time, but nothing's happened, because I think, I haven't looked on the website for a while, the last time I did look, you just clicked on it, and then it just said like, I think it said the site was under maintenance or something like that, so... I don't think that they've sorted it out yet, so I don't really know if they will start doing that again. Hopefully they will, because it's really exciting four times a year to get a magazine and you get the a membership renewal figure as well. So hopefully they'll do it again at some point. All right, so here's the family. Oh, and also they're not attached by to the box by elastic bands. It's like string, or still kind of like elastic, but like it's not the normal kind of elastic, more like a hairband rather than a rubber band. Oh, I didn't 
know that. They've got my little black bits at the end of their tails. I thought, oh no, he's got something on his tail. But then I just realised they've all got it. I never knew that. So here we've got the brother. I'll tell you all their names and what it says on the box about them in a minute. His name is Otto Hazelnut. And they've just got a little bit of black on the end of their tail. I didn't know that. I guess normally when you see like photos of them, you just see them in the front so you don't really see their tails. Wow, I'm really surprised. So now we've got the father. His name is Sydney. That's so cute. Mm, doesn't want to stand up. Now the mother. This is Mona. I really like her dress, really pretty. I think also kind of their clothes are more detailed on the older families as well. And lastly, the sister. I looked at her name when I looked for the mothers, so her name is Odette, I think is how it's pronounced. Yes, so cute. So I'll just quickly show you them close up. Right, so it says, Father Sidney Hazelnut is a bed maker and a very good one too. His beds are very special because he insists on testing each and every one of them himself. Unfortunately, because they're so comfortable, he keeps falling asleep and just can't keep up with customer demand. Between the yawns, he'll tell you that your bed will be ready in a week or three. <laughs> That's really cute. Mona compliments her husband's work perfectly by making bed linen, quilts, pillows and bed covers. Mona's new designs are beautifully colour coordinated, with great attention paid to detail in the trim and finish, but most importantly, they keep you warm, snug and cosy in bed. Otto, like his father, loves his bed. His mother has to call him at least three times every morning to get up for school. However, Saturday morning is different. This is the day Otto plays football and he gets himself up, dressed and grabs a quick breakfast before setting off to play without one prompt from his mother. And lastly, Odette Hazelnut is a very quiet, softly spoken, shy young lady. All her school friends make a point to look after her, making sure she is alright. Whether in the classroom or on the school bus, they take it in turns to check that she's not fallen asleep. <laughs> that's so cute. So this family definitely like to sleep a lot then. That's so cute. I guess because they're mice. And I guess the mice hibernate or maybe they just sleep a lot. I don't really know. But yeah, that's really cute. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.